Oh, good evening. Uh, working on the synchromotive controller and my setup on my little Volkswagen here for uh, high voltage system and also for fast charging. Over on your, over on the side over there, you can see a bank of batteries. We're using the bank of batteries to charge the car. Um, the nice thing, synchromotive controller, and not only is it is a little powerhouse controller, it's also a charger. We can charge at normal rates, we can charge at fast rates with any uh, DC source, whether it be from a bank of batteries direct from solar panels or a generator that may put out DC power. Uh, this controller will also charge from any AC source uh, from the wall, from a generator, anywhere that you have AC, whether it's 110, 240, We'll also do stand, standard current rates and also fast. Uh, this charger will, the controller will charge up to 225 amps. Uh, back through the, the controller, two batteries, and um, it is basically, it is the only charger, or the, oh, excuse me, the only controller on the market right now that is also a charger. And not only just a charger, it's a, a high rate, uh, high power charger that can do both AC and DC input. And the beautiful thing about it, it is a lightweight, small lightweight package, about seven pounds. And it's just air cooled and it is one hell of a little powerhouse. Uh, 192 volts and 900 amps. Here's an old uh, 96 volt Elcon charger set up for lithium batteries. Um, pretty heavy unit. This unit's bigger, much heavier than the controller itself. And we get to ditch it out. We don't have to use this anymore. But by using, by using the controller as a charger, the controller does the charging at a constant current rate up until the desired voltage that you choose and then it terminates. It doesn't do the last little bit of holding that, that voltage until the current drops down, uh, which quite frankly really doesn't hold a lot of power. Um, so it's basically like charging the 80 or 90% of your battery pack, fast charge, and off you go again. Um, right now I've got my battery bank plugged in. We are at 150, 156 volt pack. Um, I'm charging it up right now to 172 volts, which would be just a little over 3.5 volts per cell. Um, and right now the uh, we're set up at uh, 75 amps of, of current and we are at 165 volts right now in the battery pack but so once it reaches 172 it will terminate and at that point the battery pack will be the same voltage as my extra batteries which we're going to marry into the pack and we're going to we're going to bump the pack up all the way to 192 volts I'm going to set the voltage level to 156 volts maybe 144 volts um, maximum voltage to the motor even though we have 192 volt pack that will give us a sag pad so when we accelerate the battery sag but my my motor is going to see a good solid 144 probably 156 volts to that motor and all, all the way up to 900 amps um, I've, had, I've pulled uh, up to 700 amps out of these batteries. That's about probably about all I'm going to pull, so I'm going to limit my current to 650 to 700 amps. Um, and that's it. That's about all these batteries are going to give anyway. Um, these are old high power, 100 amp hour lithium batteries, uh, life post cells. Um, 
and they have been abused. But we're giving it a shot. So we've got the uh, synchromotor controller, which is a really nice, really, really nice controller um, for its size and its weight. You don't need bulk. Don't don't be fooled by big massive bulk, thinking that you're going to have to, you know, big massive bulk is going to give you a big massive power. You can have a small package that will do the same thing, and this one does. Uh, this Pro has actually been out for quite a few years, and the people who built this controller, they do not use any extra charger. They just use the controller as a charger. They've been doing that for three years successfully, and running lithium batteries in their little in their little uh, truck. And I'm gonna put up here their little video of their truck and their drive around town, just so you can see the performance of this in the, in the truck. Um, I have a, an 11 inch cost off motor, it's an older one, it's the older style, it's not the high voltage style, that's why we're going to keep the, that's why we're going to keep the voltage down a little bit, and, uh, but it has a lot of torque, um, right now we're just, we're just testing, making sure everything's working, making sure everything's where we want it, because we are going to move it into the uh, little red Volkswagen Roadster that I have. Uh, as soon as all this all this is ironed out, there really isn't any big issues here. Uh, I do want to get my uh, RPM sensor hooked up so we can have RPM limiting, especially with this bigger motor because it doesn't it's not a high RPM motor. And so that that's what we've been doing. Um, been able to get rid of uh, external or your your onboard charger. Um, don't need it with this uh, controller because the controller is the charger. Uh, it is a high power charger and a high power controller um, so we can tap off a DC source so if you're off grid have solar and your main source is a bank of batteries um, you don't necessarily have to run it through an inverter to turn it back to AC so you can run your charger just run direct DC into this thing and charge your your batteries just direct DC and it save, saves a step um, so you don't have to do multiple steps for, for charging. And um, so I'm just going to let this thing run for a while since it's uh, high voltage and everything. It's going to take a little bit to, to charge this thing up. Um, the uh, current that's actually going into the battery looks like 20 amps. So I'm going to bump this up a little bit to get it going a little bit faster. Um, And I, I can tell you, I can tell you that the car performs extremely well on high voltage and this cost off motor. Oh, there goes my uh, voltage meter. I'll turn that little guy off. Uh, hey, let's uh, let's check it. Let's check the current. Since I have the uh, ability to check current here. So let's do 40 amps. So I'm just going to check amps going into my battery. Uh, 20, 23, 23 amps. So the way this thing works with with DC charging, it takes a low voltage pack, which happens to be 48 volts, and we're charging a 100 and, 156 volt pack with 48 volts. Um, it's got a, high, a lot of amp hours to this pack, and what it does is it runs the power through the uh, motor field windings as an inductor, and then the controller controls the on off and and pulse and pulses this so it builds a builds a magnetic current magnetic current falls creates a voltage spike pumps it in to the car and and it does this at the rate it needs to for the size of the DC source and the voltage of your pack um, so I'm charging at a current of 75 amps from the stationary battery pack which is putting uh, 20 amps into the into the car. So I can do this on the fly with the computer since I have it hooked up. And I'm going to go to 100 amps of current charge. And that is now, uh, we're now up at uh, 28, solid 28 amps going in. 
uh, which is kind of standard here. So uh, now I'm going to go up to uh, 150. And now I'm at uh, 38 to 40 amps going into the battery that fast. So 150 charge current out of my big pack uh, since it can obviously handle that. And I've got big 2 watt cable uh, and 1 watt cable coming off to plug into the car right here. Uh, none of my connections have been getting hot since I upgraded all the cabling to really heavy duty cable. Um, so I can go up to here again uh, 200 and I am now at um, almost 50 amps current going into this and it's not overheating the controller. Um, a little bit a little warm. You can feel the warm air coming out. Um, we've got limits on uh, temperature so if it gets over temp on the controller it will shut down and it will cut back if necessary. Um, up at this high current rate things will get a little bit warm but it is, uh, it is a high power setup. So at this rate of charge of um, 50 amps going into this thing even with the other uh, high power chargers they have on the market things will get a little warm um, quite quite surprising that this will this is this does as well as it does um, compared to the Elcons and other ones that I've seen um, it's very high power very nice so just wanted to show it off a little bit to you let you, let you see so what we're doing, we're going to balance this battery pack. So I'm going to cut the current back because I don't want it quite so high. And uh, Charging current, we're going to go down, back down to uh, 100 in a moment. Creates a pretty strong magnetic field on this thing. So, anyway, let's see. Happened. Uh, the other day too. A little bit of noise issues. Okay, so now we're back down to um, uh, about 30 amps. Pretty standard. Um, 166 volts. And my here, my voltage out of my pack. The voltage is out of the pack. Uh, sagging at 46. So, sagging at 46, uh, still charging, uh, doing well. Um, we're at 166 volts. It'll take a little bit of time here, I think. Um, so we have to keep an eye on it. And uh, it'll just run until it shuts itself off, and it does a very good job of shutting itself off. Uh, we've already tested it uh, numerous times. So there you have it. And until next time, uh, when we have a little more light, I'm doing it right now because it's a little bit cooler. It, 
It was 118 degrees at well, parking lot from work today when I left work. Pretty damn hot. So I know it got hot out here, about 110 probably here at the property. Um, baking my poor little Volkswagen with the batteries inside. Um, windows, windows down, doors open. So it doesn't get, so it doesn't get too hot. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll talk to y'all later.